All right, here we go. My name is Judson Powell. Thank you uh, for watching. Um, this is going to be a, a comedic teaching. So, um, you know, chalk it up to that. Um, so if you like the way I teach, then please stay. If not, bye. <laughs> No, I should anyway hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit all the buttons or whatever but um, seriously you know the internet is a choice <laughs> right it is um, anyway so I want to um, I want to elaborate on the stuff that I know a lot of my friends they think I'm you know they think I'm nuts but I I, I get you know all of these visions and dreams and all this kind of stuff so it, it's cool because I, I I'm like a, um, like I would be like a reluctant prophet or something like that, right? You know, it's like ah, uh, let them, you know, let them just let them do whatever they want to do, and everything will be all right, right? But um, sometimes that's not always the point. So anyway, I've been talking about um, this divine energy, the feminine energy, not the not the masculine energy. See, the thing about it is, is that the Earth has been under the auspices of the of the um, the male um, spiritual outlay or whatever they want to call it, all right. And so I, got, you know, and, and it's funny because when you get ready to do stuff, it's funny how like stuff like pops up that you might have been thinking about, and then all of a sudden it, the universe puts it up in front of you again. And so a lot of things that that I'm about to say right now, <clears throat> excuse me, they were things that the universe had been. Um, have been telling me for a while or uh, things that I just started popping up in, in the last couple of days and stuff like that. But um, there's always, and remember, there's always a, uh, a media uh, precursor to everything uh, that's about to happen, right? So uh, you can always go and you can look and you can look to something. It is always, uh, because in order to make a lot of things happen in the spiritual realm. There has to be uh, all, almost like the, uh, the 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 preachers would say, like there has to be a seed time and or and a harvest. So at some point you got to plant the seed, and then you got to water it and fertilize it and do da 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 da, and then it grows, which is what the universal law of what work. All right. And then there's there's and then there's the universal law of what reciprocation. Like if you if you give, then you receive. If you don't give, you don't receive. It's just it's just logic. It's universal logic, and that's what it is. It's not it's not nothing special or anything that anybody else can't do. And so I, I was um I, I was talking to my sister and I, and I was talking to I won't say the name, but I was talking to an old friend that I, that literally. I had not talked to in in uh, in 41 years, right? And so a lot of the a lot of the the, the confirmation and stuff like that um, just came out of like normal conversations, and then people say stuff to you because why? Because you're operating in the spiritual realm, which is which is important. All right. So when you start operating in the spiritual realm, um, what usually happens is that you're you're uh, bombarded with a lot of messages and and then you have to like kind of decipher them and and you know figure out what they mean because the spirit doesn't always just tell you straight up and, you know it's not like you go and say oh yeah go down to the light turn right and you're good that's not how it works and the other thing is is that a lot of people especially like like people like me like I can help other people but I can't really help myself <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I know that's that's like sad, but it's true. All right, so I can I can I get like visions and dreams and all that kind of stuff, and and I you know I can help people, but as far as helping myself, I can't. So because I, I probably would have got the lottery numbers like a long time ago, <laughs> and been like or help my grandma, like my grandma and them, they generation they love them, they love that policy, so you know good and well. That, that, that you could have made some some bread off of that but anyway here but but anyway so the feminine divine energy right that's what we really want to we really want to tackle because that's the energy that's been removed the first sign uh, of its removal see when 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 the uh, Roman Catholic Church 
and the English throne uh, came into power, right? The, 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 the sacrificial lamb to that was what? Was the woman. And even, you know, you can go as far back as you want. A lot of the things that are in uh, scripture, whether it be, you know, not even saying what scriptures, but a lot of the, the things that are contained in scriptures are negative towards women. Um, even starting from the very, very beginning. Why? Because there was a way to, uh, to, to blame, you know, to blame uh, the, the Eve or whatever, you know, you want to call her. Um, but yeah, she, you know, she was, she was blamed. Oh, you know, how was every, everything was fine until that woman, until you gave me a woman. All right. So it doesn't sound, you know, too, you know, too appealing like how do you how would you feel if somebody said that to you? You say, Oh, you know, yeah, or or said that about you, you wouldn't feel good. And then the next thing that we got, um all just just right there in those in those beginning chapters of of um uh, of the of the Levitical scriptures, um we have all of that. And I call them Levitical scriptures uh on purpose because uh True research will show you that most of the Old Testament, especially the Torah, uh, was written by Levitical priests or, uh, the, or the, the, the rabbi um, class. So the rabbis wrote most of that stuff, like the, and especially like the, the, um, the laws, the, the Levitical laws, Leviticus, uh, Deuteronomy, all of, all of those scriptures like that. All of those scriptures uh, were basically written by men, people. You know, and, 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 and a lot of those people were even captured at the time that they wrote them. So they weren't, you know, so they were they were getting told what to write or else either you write this or, you know, so and that's how, because you have to understand up until the times um, that the that the English uh, aristocracy started ruling. Um, they they wanted to control everything, but and and there were some good parts to it because without any control, then what? There's anarchy. But if you know, almost like the the Abraham Lincoln, well, if I had a choice between having one race be superior and the other race be inferior, then I would choose the white race to be superior, right? So that's like one of those type of deals. Okay, so. Um, so one of the first things that that the, that these uh, people did uh, once they got into power was that their their thing was okay. We need to figure out how to keep that anarchy from from happening and how to keep and how to keep ourselves in power, right? So that's so that was the so that's basically the the whole thing behind it. It's like how can we stay in power and how can we put our stuff. Uh, in the in the forefront all right so that's so that's how that comes around but here's the problem then they go and as they start having these councils these ecumenical councils and there were there were literally tons of these you know there wasn't just one you know people people talk about um the council at Nicaea, but that's not the only one that they they had they had tons of these conferences and this stuff was being discussed and plotted out over over years all right the 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 the, the rule of the Roman Catholic Church and still ruling to this day that's how much money you see that's what I'm saying so think think logically why why are they still in power to this day because they took everything right but the main thing was was to make women second-class citizens because at the at the the height of of the uh the civilizations in africa um women had a different women were looked at differently and they were revered and the queen or the or the you know even with things like the chess and stuff like that. Okay, why does the queen have so much power? Why is the queen uh, depicted with the with the throne on her head and not the king? Why you know why is it that the, the the queen can move around but the king can't? You see what I'm saying? So so there's always been 
this this thing about removing the 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 woman and the feminine energy out of everything but we know through the universal laws and they knew this too or they stole it from us we knew that everything is about balance so there has to be so 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 there has to be um a, a down to an up there there has to be or else then it takes everything universally out of balance and then once it becomes out of balance then it's easier to control by the people that the scale has weighted to right and in the case of 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 the earth realm right now that would be the caucasian or the white race so you're you're looking at you have the caucasian or the white race is is in control and they did it through spirituality through our spirituality that our ancestors invented and then they feed us the fact of well if you do this then it's against the scripture or it's a you know it's against the scriptures of course it is because you but and, and here's the thing if they really believed in those scriptures right would they still do the things that they do to people? Right? Which brings us back to the feminine energy. So the first thing was to do was to make women second class citizens. And they did. For right from the beginning of the Bible, you know, the woman is the woman is 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 held in, in low regard. In all those all those original things, the, the woman was whole held in, in, in low regard. I mean, Lot, Lot was going to give up his daughters to be raped. Stuff like that. The, the, uh, the concept of Pearl, right? Where you send your, you send your child off, your daughter off to, to virtually be molested by, by the men all over. And then after a certain amount of time, you know, she comes back home. can't make this stuff up folks go read your bible <laughs> or your quran i'm sorry look and that's another thing i don't mean to pick on the bible i just used to teach the bible so i understand it but i'm just saying and i know a lot of it so that's why i do that but it's not any better there's no book that's any better no religion that's any better all the religions every single one of them every single one of them is man-made and the main ones, the Abrahamic religions, are all uh, definitely creations of the British crown. And, the, you know, from 1609, and then the first slave ship, 16, you know, they devised a method of taking all of the, 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 the feminine energy out of everything. So they relegated, because look, what is the, what most of the women, like Rahab, she was like one of the first women mentioned in the Bible, right? After Adam and Eve, after Eve, right? And or the or the infamous, uh, you know, Cain and Abel, uh, who were their wives, right? But they had wives, right? Stuff like that, you know. The the whole thing with the uh, which which uh, transposes onto Lilith, uh, the the you know the this Lilith person was supposed to be um, Adam's first wife, but she was disobedient. So the, and then the second one was disobedient too. So that means what? There was no, <laughs> there was no hope, right? Y'all yeah, didn't know that. Okay. Well, go, I'm serious. Go back. And, and, and as always, I always say, go back and, and check me. Go back and do the research, and, and if and if you can, you know, don't just but don't just come at me with that, you know. That's that's like when I was in my thirties, you know. It's like, it's like come on, yeah, don't don't just come on and be like, oh, you're wrong, man. You know, you know that's show me your research, show me or or tell me where I can find it, you know. That's the you know that's the that's like the thing. So the feminine energy being removed is is like everything. Um, 
has has progressed as a as a patriarchal society and so that and that has led to what it has led to a lot of hatred crime wars all of that kind of stuff and here's the rub though so everybody was like what's going on with this whole um kanye west um candace owens uh i guess one of bob marley's granddaughters uh what's up with the whole uh um you know white lives matter and a lot of black people got mad about it and i've been i literally been like talking about this with my wife for like the past past couple of days because i was like because you know y'all know how i do any people any people that watch my i don't necessarily just go right off the cuff and then just you know unless unless it's something like really 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 bad right or something like that okay so i could deal with that but to like sit up there and just like you know pass pass judgment like immediately it's kind of difficult so what i'm about to say i know y'all gonna y'all gonna but why white lives do matter all lives matter but here's the thing we created the white life that's why when it was such a big deal um when National Geographic, and I, and I mention this all the time, because it's something that needs to be known. National Geographic accepted the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's explanation of the Bible talking about the two creation stories. So to take that even further, because we are like, spiritually cursed up under this religion of, of Christianity and spiritually cursed up under this religion of, of Islam and spiritually cursed up under this religion of Judaism, spiritually cursed up underneath every religion. Because we can't, we, can't, we can't move spiritually. Right? And so... Everybody's like, well, you know, Jesus this and Jesus that, right? And then, I, I, because I, I thought about this, I've been seriously, I thought, I've literally thought about this like for like years, and I was always like, because I, I had all the explanations, you know, why do they say, uh, you know, this? Why do they call Jesus the Son of God and the Son of Man? And, and 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 so that that that's like where I, I started at because I was just like why do they call why do they call this 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 fictitious mythological um, man and and here's the thing about that if, if Jesus is real to you then Jesus is real to you that's that's your truth it might not be the truth but if that's your truth, then fine. I, I, don't re I don't wish anything bad upon you or anybody else that practices any of the other religions. The first, the first when I, if I'm giving somebody, um, you know, intricate knowledge or, or, or whatever, so am I, am I operating as the son of God? Or am I operating as the, the, the son of man? And then I got to throw stuff in there like, is it not written that ye are gods? And, and everybody, you know, and then the whole thing with the, with the, the, the witchcraft, just like I, to, like I tried to explain to y'all about the stuff with the queen. The queen was sacrificed. For their for their power because there's you know that's that's what they do go back and go back and look at my other posts you know y'all might want to be entertained but i don't dance 
I can't dance. <laughs> right. You got to you got to realize like what's going on. They're using the original spirituality which was discovered and which was studied and which was chronicled by our ancestors. Once again, let me reiterate the reason why it, it, critic, the whole critical race theory and all of that stuff, the reason why all of that stuff is, is important uh, to Caucasians is because then they have nothing to lean on as far as a history. Only the history that they have created over time and they created that history by making second class citizens out of first women and then second using racial means, you know, racism, apartheid, slavery, uh, you know, colonization. All of those things were used in order to make this shift from balance to nothing but masculine energy. See, without the feminine energy, you can't fulfill anything. Sort of like where we get behind every good man, there's a woman. And I and I and I teach all the time that look, women, women are far more superior beings spiritually than men are. However, <laughs> because of balance, right? Because of balance, that's why we, we, we have balance. So everything is designed within the, the earth realm to go against the balance. Everything that's there is designed to go against the balance. And and just what yesterday it was like, it's like four or five like celebrity um, for for I don't know it was like four or five uh, celebrity couples got divorced. I mean, are getting divorced, right? And then all of these other people are just. You know, and and all of the, the 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 head people in the world got divorced. L look at it. But where was divorce? Where was divorce before the Bible? Where was divorce before the Bible? Before the before the New Testament was written. And as a matter of fact, if you go to a lot of places throughout the world, ain't no divorce. They don't know nothing about that. They build family, right? Which is the original Trinity. So if I take one element out, so if I take the the man, the woman out, and then I take the kids out, because that's the other, the, the children is man, woman, child, right? As I in and you know, um, Aset, Asar, and Haru, the original Trinity. And that's what they base their trinity on. They, you know, we got the aunt, they got the cry. You know, I feel like uh, I feel like dude from from uh, coming to America one, right? Yeah, you know, they got the big the Big Mac, but we got the Big Mick. <laughs> you know, my buns don't have sesame seeds, <laughs> and that's what they did. They, you know, and it's and it's an ongoing continual. Hoodwink. Why you think they over? Look, do you? They have been digging up Kemet for since long before I was born, and long before it probably long after I'm gone from this realm. They still be digging up Kemet because they they can't. They want to know what makes it tick. How does it work? But the problem is, is that they haven't returned 
the feminine energy. And until they do, they're, they're, you know, right now, look at the things that are going on. The earth is groaning. The, the earth is, 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 is crying out. And they do, they dog everything. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm not trying to, because that's why I say white lives do matter, but so do black lives, so do red lives, so do, you know, everything matters at this point. But the original, the ancestors, what they said was what? Once again, let's go back. Four, there's, there were only four races of humans. Hue meaning color. And those were what? Those were the sons of God. And F that Hebrew bull crap. That's not us. We're the God class. You know, y'all y'all know more about the what is it, the Ananuki, <laughs> Ananaki <laughs> than y'all know about your own existence. We are though we are the descendants from those civilizations. You know, when you get that little thing back, when you when you put in your your genealogy thing and it came back and it said what? That you were a certain percentage of sub Saharan African. <laughs> and even but but here's here's the thing, and everybody wants to argue with you. Look, nothing what what we call the the the, the doctrine of mutual exclusivity. There is nothing mutually exclusive about anybody anywhere on the earth because it's, it's like they're, they're all, you, you can decipher them all. Every single one of them. So when they get that stuff by the blood, they could, you know, they could take the blood and do that, right? And then I try, I try to tell us, like, look, so all, all it is time, all the Aztecs, Mayans, Aborigines, Africans, all parts of Africa, West Africa, South Africa, North Africa, right? East Africa, the Caribbean, Brazil, Bolivia, right? The Amazon, the Amazon rainforest. See, the, the, the diaspora, the diaspora is tremendous. So don't just be like, so when people are like, oh, you know, my people, they, they might not have came on a, on a slave ship, but they got here. And look and look at all the look at the stuff. Look at the artifacts. There are ships and boats. Look in the hieroglyphs. Look in the papyrus. Right? Look to those places and find out who you are. And the first thing, like I said, is is you gotta and, and especially our men. My you know. Like I like I would say, my dear brothers, we have to understand the power of that energy. Because that energy has power. It has it has real power. But you can't keep denying it. You can't deny the power and then expect to turn around and use it. And the people, and look, all of these people out here who are still trying to fight against it or come against it or do whatever they can against it, they're, they're meeting a quick demise. Because we, we, we've lost everything. No respect, no love, no honor, no compassion, no understanding. See, because you got to understand the sons of God, sons and daughters of God are different than the sons and daughters of man. Which is why I keep teaching 
that it's not about race and it's not about that, but it's about good versus evil. It's about good versus evil. There are good people and there are evil people. And the evil people succeed when we, the good people, don't do anything and allow them to operate with impunity. So we, we got to stop that. And I'm not saying it's got to be, you know, it doesn't even have to be violent. It could be, it could be just in your thoughts and in your prayers and in your solitude and in your meditation and in your occupation, all of those things. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta start learning that look that these things that balance and as above, so below. The law of polarity. It's gotta be if there's for you know. Let's put it in terms of physics, right? Was was that one? Uh, for every action, there's an equal or opposite reaction. Everything is moving. Everything is vibrating. So what we have to do is is simply vibrate higher like we always have done, but just keep vibrating at a high level, baby. Don't stop. Just keep on. <laughs> you know, that's like the old disco song. Man, that man say 15 minutes. <laughs> you, could fall, you could fall in love on a disco too. <laughs> All right. 15 minutes, you can say a lot in 15 minutes, right? but return the feminine energy and don't deny it. And don't act like, you know, all this stuff, they all these, y'all ain't, you know, let me, look, I'm, I'm about to go one step further. And this is coming from, let me explain something to y'all about polygamy. Polygamy is not so that a woman, brothers, listening to me. Polygamy in the way that the ancients did it is not about, is not, has nothing to do with uh, controlling women, women submitting to you. Um, I mean, all the stuff that y'all put out there, you know. Now, it, it, be honest. If you just want to have sex with a bunch of women, then tell them that, right? <laughs> be honest. But what y'all doing is ridiculous. A lot of this stuff is crazy, and it's not. And and you should not look. I can't. I can't tell you enough. But it should not be that that woman is, is taking or those women are taking care of you and you're not doing anything to take care of them. And I mean, there's guys out there that's doing, you know, there's got women on 24-7, 365 lockdown. And what it should be is if you can afford, see, because back then the dowry and you know all of that stuff had to be paid and you couldn't have more than one wife if you couldn't afford it like i know i can't afford it <laughs> and you might not want more than one you know that's a, you know those are uh, those are also you know stories that are in religious scriptures right so so it, it allows it allows men uh to take advantage of women. And the whole game is about mental and spiritual manipulation. And with that said, I'm gonna call it a day. But anyway, <laughs> I love y'all. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. Um, and and if you you know want further clarification, because I know sometimes I go off and things just kind of start popping in my mind. So I teach from what starts popping into my spirit, which is not, uh, which is not always answer all your questions. So if you have a question, please uh, leave it, and and I'll try to get to it and answer it as soon as I can. Um, and um, so, you know, please re-embrace the feminine energy as far as balance men and women. I'm not saying so men and women balance. 
balance. All right. God bless you.